One of my favorite aspects of Style Stories is getting to see all the variety of furniture and really different art pieces that are available here at James Decor. But today, I'm very excited because we're going to be actually introducing you to one of those designers. I'm here with Mark McDowell. Thank you so much for being with us, Mark. My pleasure. So I'm really excited to be able to dive into everything that you have uh, uh, contributed to here, specifically with the John Richards brand. And so uh, we have um, several of your designs um, around us and I wanna dive into these, but first I wanna talk to you about how you got into designing uh, furniture and different, and different aspects for the home. Uh, my background as far as going to school was in design, although it was graphic design. Mm -hmm. Did that for several years in illustration didn't hold my attention, got into this industry kind of by accident. And once I got into it, I just fell in love with it because I love the variety of materials, variety of products, uh, and it's held my attention ever since. So I was doing a little bit of research on you, Mark, and I uh, understand that uh, you also have some Japanese elements that kind of has inspired your art. Yes, my uh, mother's uh, Japanese and her Aesthetic has definitely affected me my entire life, and I like to believe that most of my product uh, reflects some Japanese characteristics or kind of the uh, purity of Japan as far as mm. the simplicity, uh, carefully chosen materials. Mm. Uh, it's so, amazing. It's beautiful. Thanks. It's beautiful. And honestly, one thing, Mark, I want to talk to you about is especially with this piece right here with this beautiful stone, as well as several of your other pieces, it's like you like to bring nature into your artwork. And, and where do you find these different stones and, and how has that inspired you? Well, I'm very lucky to work for a company like John Richards, and I am very lucky to have James Decor uh, purchase our products. It's a great resource. Uh, the natural materials have become more popular mm -hmm. and following trends, we, I like to stay with trends. Mm -hmm. uh, the agate piece actually gets imported from Brazil. Wow. Uh, these mirrors here, which I didn't design, another co-designer at the company did, but these are actually natural selenite. Wow. We have an agate table lamp I with love individual lamp. agates, and it has a uh, brass trim that goes around each of the agates. Wow. And nature always is a great inspiration for art and for design throughout the centuries, and I'm definitely on board with that. I love that. I'm on board with that as well. And Mark, before I don't want to let you go without actually showcasing another one of your pieces. So would you stick around and talk to us about another one? Sure, I'd love to. So Mark, I wanna to talk to you about this beautiful piece here. I love, again, how you bring in nature and it's almost like this is a piece of stone that's carved into this mirror. What was the inspiration behind this piece? Actually, it's like a, a river running through a valley. And then currently right now, as far as design trends, nature is definitely prominent. You know, this one's done in a more elegant way, such as the table lamps also. They have glass leaves on them, still organic, but done in a, uh, more elegant, more elevated type style. You know, Mark, what I love about this is this art, this is an art piece, but I also understand that you have actually some physical canvases, and so I'd love to talk to you about those as well. Okay, would be great. Well, Mark, I said a canvas, but this is really, uh, honestly, this is even more impressive than a canvas. And so tell me exactly what we're looking at here. This is a shadow box type image. So the background is gold leaf and actually stands almost two inches off of the front surface. Wow. And then the floral flower image is printed on the back side of the glass. And it, what's really cool is when light's coming through, it actually creates a ghost image on the background. So you yeah. kind of get this double double image type of effect. I can see that. And I can also see a little bit of the uh, Japanese influence here as uh, well. For sure, yeah. yes. I, I am so excited for people to be able to come down and check this out. And if you'd like to make an appointment to be able to come to James Decor and be able to see everything that they have to offer, including all these amazing John Richards products, we're going to put some contact information on your screen so you can see a phone number as well as a website. Mark, thank you so much for taking some time for us today. I appreciate it very much. Thank you.